When you arrive in a new city to film a TV series, and you know you're going to be making 22 one-hour shows uh, that year, you go on a general scouting tour of the town to kind of just get a sense of what's available. And sort of in the middle of the second day, we're driving around by the uh, harbor, and we see these two piles, uh, these yellow piles, maybe 80, 90, 100 feet high, and it's like, what's that? These are great. And they say, well, it's piles of sulfur that they, I guess they manufacture it and then they, they ship it out from the harbor on boats. And they're sort of almost always there in, in some size. And we said, well, one day we're going to have to use this because it's really a terrific location. And the, the uh, so the, the pyrotechnics that were rigged for the, for that, that final, that quickening were the most elaborate that we had ever done and it was all one take and after uh, the two guys were, were fighting because they did all their own stuff by, th by the time they were finished it was raining sulfur doesn't smell so great in the rain and when they finished they looked tired they were tired and then when the the pyrotechnics went off uh, it was shot in slow motion and so the actual take of the wide shot was two and a half minutes long. And it was t still, it was probably one of the most amazing uh, quickenings that we'd uh, ever had. And Band of Brothers also for, for all of us on Highlander, you know, introduced Darius, a great character, an immortal that, you know, had given up had given up being a great warrior to live a life of peace on holy ground, and was somebody that Adrian had met during the Battle of Waterloo, which was also kind of fun in that it's easier to do certain period flashbacks in Europe than it is in Canada. And the Canadian uh, producer, Brent Claxton, said, we can do the Battle of Waterloo, and he was determined he was going to show the French what the Battle of Waterloo looked like. So the day before it all got set up, we must have had every old cannon and you know, artificial horse and, and wagons and costumes that they possibly had for that period. And we left that night about 7 or 8 o'clock after having set it all up. That night it snowed. So the look was, you know, it was unbelievable. It was absolutely unbelievable, and sometimes, you know, you need a little luck to pull these things off, and uh, we certainly got it. And, you know, on the other side of, of luck is bad luck, and uh, Darius, uh, a wonderful character, uh, had, unknowns to all of us, had a, uh, had a brain tumor, and he died. And... We miss his character, but most of all, we miss Werner Stocker, the man.